Welcome back to Artec. Today we're going to review the generic in-car recorder from a company known as Eagle Eye. Okay, so this is made by a company called as Eagle Eye and uh, the box looks really attractive. Uh, just ignore the spelling because this looks like a ripoff from another uh, well-known brand perhaps, I'm not sure, but uh, there's a lot of spelling mistakes on the box, but it's very well packed, to be honest. What this device is, is a very nice in-car video recorder. So it can basically record anything that's happening outside your windscreen. Uh, that includes the rear windscreen as well. So this includes a small rear camera, which they've provided. So let's go ahead and open this box really quick. So as I said, it's packed like any of those, you know, uh, Good devices you get from China, high quality. So, as soon as you open the box, you see that there's a nice big rear view mirror. So this this particular mirror is going to be mounted on top of your existing rear view mirror. They've also thrown in a big charger, which basically means you'll need a car charging slot, a cigarette lighter charging slot. It's got a mini USB port, which is gonna go into this, I'm assuming. The cable is pretty long, so uh, I guess, again, it's for tucking everything in. That's the rear view camera. It's got four LEDs, and uh, you can see that the, it's also got this little red wiring, which they've provided. So that's basically something to do with uh, plugging it into your rear view, I'm sorry, the reversing lights so that it could activate something. And this has got a small plug, which again, I think will plug into the front device. They're also given some mounting clips, some stickers, some screws. So those are the two rubber uh, hooks that would probably hold this behind the car's rear view mirror. There's a manual, so that's how the device looks. I'm just gonna go back to that in a second. Let me just see if this is in, I, I heard a lot of complaints on Amazon saying that the instructions were in Chinese, but this has got both Chinese and English. A very well, welcome change, so there is English instructions. Not very good English though, but you can manage. Okay, let's go ahead and open the rear view mirror unit. It's also got a small LCD screen built in. To it. Honestly speaking, this is really bigger than I thought. It's not heavy, but it's quite bulky. And it's it's obvious that someone's gonna notice that you have something like this in your car as well. So even the camera unit is so big, right? So they can just say that, oh, he's got a camera. So that's the mini USB port, rear view camera port, and the micro SD card slot. So this can support micro SD cards up to 32 GB, I'm guessing. So we'll come back to that a little later. And it's also got a accelerometer for some reason. It can sense uh, G-forces. I think it's got a function where, you know, it can record movements uh, of the car. And it's got a uh, speaker and a mic built into it. So the device is very glossy. I haven't removed the protection cover. So it's, it's still got that thing in, but it's still shiny. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. The rear view camera, by the way, the, the main unit has a full HD camera, 1080p. This one looks like a 720 pixel camera. No instructions were given, unfortunately, for the rear view camera. But it does look like a 720p unit. This can be mounted outside your car as well because it's waterproof. Or you can mount it inside your car. So these options are up to you. Again, it's got a small sticker protecting the lens. Sorry for the you know, dull display. I've shot this like late evening inside my car. Just want to show you how quick it is. It's just a matter of putting those two plugs at the back and it'll hold on really well. I'm going to plug the power supply unit. The cable is very long and nice. So it, you just have to tuck it in well and everything should be hidden. So when you put it on, it boots up directly with a small graphic and then it starts showing you what's in the front camera. Also connecting the 
rear camera and you can see it's in my hand right now that's pretty accurate as well and there's no lag you know it, it, it doesn't feel like an inferior device it, it's so quick to respond even the menu is so fast so even the camera's response time is really nice i mean it's not one of those cheaper units i think and the clarity is pretty okay which we'll come to later again There you go, that's the rear view camera. You can select the view you want. One thing which was missing was, you know, uh, the rear view camera was supposed to automatically start if you put the reverse gear on. And there were two wires provided in the instruction, but here it only has one. Okay, that's the rear view camera. And the front view camera together. It's got a PIP picture in picture unit, which is good. I've tucked in the wires in the side beading of the car and that's where I mounted the rear view camera in the one of the beading there the weatherproofing rubber and the wires inside as well so it's got a small plug which you can disconnect so it's easy for you to do any any kind of maintenance work so once you connect that you know you complete the circuit and the wires is going behind this very simple to mount, it hardly takes about half an hour. You can get it done from a local garage, but no, no requirement of that. I've just kept the camera tucked into this rubber weatherproofing beading, but that's uh, up to you. Okay, that's the rear view camera view. Again, front view and picture in picture. Very clear that. So right from the front, you would see, you can see that huge camera unit uh, looking outside the car. So if anybody is watching you, they will probably get a sense that, okay, there is a camera on the car, which is a good thing and a bad thing. And here is the menu unit. So you can adjust the resolution. Uh, let me see what else you can do. So you need to put a micro SD card, which is formatted. You can format it using this device. And it's also got other options, uh, talking about the photo quality. You can click one click button for a photograph. The video is looped, so you can choose how long you want it to stay. It's got a mobile detection, so if you move, that's where the accelerometer comes into picture. Uh, everything else, G sensor, auto power off, uh, time watermark, which is important. And yeah, that's about it. So is this a very useful device? Do you think it's going to make sense recording anything with this? Have a look yourself. I kind of recorded this and again as I told you I mounted the whole thing in the evening. I could only drive late night and I just wanted to show you how clear the video is. And I was pretty impressed. So this thing costed about $30 uh, which is about say 2,000 uh, 2,400 Indian rupees and for the kind of traffic we have and the kind of accidents we have you know this is a really useful device it can actually record everything that's going on outside the windscreen so pretty useful device if you're looking to stay safe on the roads and uh, I definitely recommend this the camera itself is good the unit is nice it looks of high quality you know I just think you should get one for your car so that's it from me uh, please do subscribe if you haven't uh, please like the video or dislike the video Appreciate your comments and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching our tech. Bye.